Trailblazing astronaut Sally Ride has lost her battle with pancreatic cancer. Ride passed away quietly, much the way she carried herself, but very much unlike the impact she's had and the legacy she now leaves behind. She was the trailblazer who inspired young girls everywhere to reach for the stars. Lift off of SPS 7 and America's first woman astronaut. But before she soared into the history books, Sally Ride was just a California girl, an aspiring tennis star. She attended Stanford studying physics, and it was there that she answered a simple help wanted ad that changed her life and all of ours. Ride was one of only six women accepted into NASA's astronaut program in 1978. Just five years later, she blasted through that glass ceiling, becoming America's first woman in space, and at just 32, its youngest astronaut. It's a real experience and uh, the experience of a lifetime to be able to, to fly in space and fly aboard the space shuttle. Even after she returned to Earth, Ride continued to inspire others. She created the Sally Ride Science Foundation, hoping to spark the next generation of female scientists to look to the heavens. I came to appreciate what an honor it was to be the first woman to get a chance to go into space. It's something that I, that I treasure. Sally Ride was just 61 years old. And today it is important to remember that just as we grieve as a nation, so are we inspired as a nation. And it is something lost with the, with the passing of the space shuttle program. An entire generation now, guys, are, cannot experience the thrill of a, of a shuttle launch as one. And I remember when she went up, I remember every single girl at Visitation Elementary mm -hmm. saw brand new heavens unfold in front of them. What a, what, what a person Sally Ride was. It was such a big deal when that happened. Also, she was a very private person, but had such a passion for inspiring those kids sure for the rest did. of her life. Right, thank thank you. Josh. You bet.